Hello everyone, welcome to Gundam Seed Battle Assault for the Game Boy Advance. And here's the intro, or opening sequence of the game, so. And then later we'll review it and I'll explain it in great detail. So, yeah. Awesome game, and I really can't complain about this game. I love this game. So, no, ending towards the sequence. Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Battle Assault. The start. Welcome to MOS. Moss. Easy. Looks like my girl just texted me, but anyway. Cosmic Era 70. The tensions between Earth and the planets. Reaching critical levels, the two sides. Chose the final diplomatic option. War. One year has passed. Kira Yamato pilots the strike Gundam. His goal? To protect his friends. How- just by the way, how is war diplomatic on any level? That- that doesn't seem logical or reasonable. So it's time to take on Izak and his dual... Uh, shroud. Gotta get ready. Ridiculous. Just watch carefully. I'm the master at this game. And I'm a pro nerd. Fighting game. Uh, veteran, so I'm a veteran, yeah. No! I was so close on saying my catchphrase there. The problem is, is that you're only able to have, uh, one super on the Game Boy that. Oh well, you'll see my catchphrase a little, a little bit later. <sighs> Gotta get ready. I'll be all over you, Isaac. This is the game where it introduces to, uh, basically the wall head bounce. Aww. That is bull pucky. Later, Isaac. All this fighting, it has to end now! And then there's, oh, that's Brad Swell's character. The Erica is mine. And his Buster Gundam. Quite a bit of hits there. Well, didn't get! Not a problem, not a problem. Stay calm. We're good. Oh, getting ready too, huh? Later, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. That's the catchphrase. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Piece of cake.
Hmm. Hmm. That would catch. Come on, dear guy. <laughs> you live by the sword, and you shall die by the sword. Later! Why do we have to kill? They should pay. It makes no difference. Whoa! What is it, Keanu Reeves? What? How did he survive that? If I don't fight back, I'm dead! So, the wannabe is sure reasonable. And Zex Marquis. It's Raw Lake Preset. That sword drains my armor faster than anybody else. There we go. You live by the sword, and you shall die by the sword. Take care. That's how we do it. Just, on YouTube, there's plenty of other people that can do longer combos, but I can't do longer combos, to be honest. Hmm. Hmm. Later. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. He's gone? And I gotta fight myself. Yay me! Kira Yamato versus Kira Yamato. This is not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be simple. Never block, never give me that opportunity to hit you. So low. You, you live by the sword, you shall die by the sword. That actually went pretty much more easier than expected. Seed mode. I will have to take you out. What? Invading me so I can hurt you. You're pathetic. Oh snap, basket. Oh crap! Desperation. You live by the sword. You die by the sword. That was really close. Yep, whatever. It's over. Then there's Aetherin's Infinite Justice Gundam. Yay. No, 
Come on. You live by the sword, and you shall die by the sword. Alright, round two. Yeah. Hmm. I'll keep fighting you, Alfred. That cancels out. <laughs> you stuck, Alfred. Come on. There we go. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. The end. Hmm. There are some things you can't protect without fight. Without a fight. The Astray, one of the most coolest mobile suits in this game. Low Guile. Keep your eye on the ball. See that? The stray is so quick. Hmm. Ah, my opportunity. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. The end. And this is how we do it. And this is how we play it. Legitly. Ah. Huh. That was interesting. You don't see that every day. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. That's the end of your life. Goodbye. The fight's over! Lay down your weapons! Lay bones! Isaac was wounded in his last battle with Kira. To exact his revenge, he takes the dual assault shroud. And attacks Kira. The strike at last! Duel? It's time to settle the score! Here's a little payback! Duel Shroud. Duel Assault Shroud. Well, this could be fun again. You want a rematch, buddy? I'll give you the rematch you want. Hmm. Ah, you've got to be kidding me.
Hmm. Round two, begin. Hmm. It's almost time for you to have an ending love with you. You live by the sword, and you shall die by the sword. Later. Stop! It's over! And I'm fighting myself again. This time it's the freedom. <laughs> you live by the sword, you die by the sword, and that's the end of your life. Later. Alright, phase two, start. Don't block, don't be blocking. Cause I'll just make sure you won't be able to block. Also, you seen, uh, my, uh, second model, right? I have the Strike Freedom Gundam as my second model. And that's the end. On to the next round. We said that the first time when we first fought ourselves. Next. It's the Raider. It's co-op though. You are. Time to be a little persistent. Gotta fight. Flash kick! You live by the sword, and you shall die by the sword. The end. System down. One player win. And that was a nice catch off the fly. Oh dear. Ooh. You live by the sword and you shall die by the sword. The end. Now it's another system down, another victory for me. So many battles. Is there no other way? It's the Calamity. Orga Sabnak. I got a feeling that was, uh, Richard Ian Cox's character. The voice of any Yasha. Maybe? Feels like it. This one is like the wannabe heavy arms of Mobile Suit Gundam Wing. Your armor piercing ammo, that's not good. 
you live by the sword, and you shall die by the sword. The end, or Orga. So, round two, again. But still, Calamity is powerhouse. Don't die by the sword either way. And I just ran out of armor. There goes my armor. <laughs> Ended you by a beam rifle rather than a beam cannon. I said stop! You wanna die? After a long battle, Hira defeats Athrid. That's enough! It's over! What? Nani? I don't wanna fight you, Athrid! <coughs> ah! Charlie Brown. Atherin, get out! It's Nico! Poor Nico's going to die! It's the Blitz Gundam. A multi. It's a ballroom blitz, blitz, ballroom blitz. And Nico and his Gundam put up quite a fight. You live by the sword, and you shall die by the sword later. All right, time to fight for the second time before fighting after him. And in this game, there's no mobile armor, so that's always nice. Uh, why did I do that? And that's what Blip can do, is the invisibility self. No, this wasn't supposed to happen. And this is where Kira gets all uberly depressed after that death. And with the defeat of his comrade Nico, after him flies into a rage. Oh, so he goes Super Saiyan? This one's for Nico. Catherine, wait! I'm going to destroy you! Aegis. Time to take care of the trash. Back and back. Hmm. Hmm. I gotta make sure that you don't do anything funny with me, Holmes. No escape. Oh, I missed, but round one taken uh, taken care of by the blade or beam saber. All right, 
phase two of the mission. Begin. Fight. Yeah, who doesn't want to hear a laser effect not thrilling? From Dreadable to the Bridge. But still, that's completely, uh... The nice thing about this battle assault is unlimited ammo. I'm all about destroying. Destroying. You live by the sword, and you shall die by the sword. The end, Catherine. System down. Catherine, this doesn't change anything. From this battle, both Aegis and Strength sustain severe damage. And their pilots go missing. Atherin is eventually found and taken into custody by the orb forces. Here is whereabouts remain unknown. One day, Kira Yamato will return with the Strike Freedom Gundam. Well, this concludes this fighting game and me beating it and not having to do with cheats. So that's always nice. So yeah, you can read all the uh, creds to yourself. I give myself a pat on the back because I played so well and almost came close to dying, but still I end up winning. <laughs> winning. So, yeah. As a true, uh, gaming fanatic, which, with your own opinion, you can be just your own self as a video game journalist. Knowing what games you like, whether it doesn't matter, but people won't have to put you down for it. But anyway, this game was overall fun. Gives you time to think on this game. It's not too hard, but easy was a little bit challenging and really gave me a run for my money. But, yeah. I like playing this game a lot. So, I'm not gonna play it multiple times, just by the way. And by the end of it, there's a password, password system. So, here it comes, the other segment to the video. This is the front cover of Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Battle Assault on the Game Boy Advance. So, my rating of it, of the gameplay, is it's a perfect 10 out of 10. Now, that's just me being a true video game journalist and something I like for this game. And that's how I truly feel. Because, you may say whatever you want about Nintendo, but Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb probably forgot all the great things about the, what transpired on the Game Boy Advance and the consoles for GameCube itself. So, yeah, that's generally it. Overall, if you want to try this game, be my guest, or just buy a copy if it's on sale on Amazon or eBay, and you will not be disappointed. This game is really fun, I'm not gonna lie. So, it's a perfect 10 out of 10, and if you like Gundam, try it out. So, that's all I gotta say. Take care and bye bye <laughs>